Okay, this is not difficult. It's not difficult at all. Just stay and learn. Okay, so what do you do? First of all, copy this equals 60. Now, this plus this, because we're having the same thing, it means that we have 2 of 6 to the power of x. Because if you have x plus x, you have 2x, right? Then 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x should then give you 2 of 6 to the power of x. Okay, that is what I've just done over here. So let's continue. This is equal to 60. Divide by 2, divide by 2. This goes there. And now 6 to the power of x will be equal to 30. And then, can you write 30 in this form? The answer is no. Because 30 can only be written as 5 times 6, right? And then, do not bother. 5 times 6 is the same thing as 6 times 5. So 6 to the power of x is the same as 6 times 5, right? Now, since we can proceed from here, we need to take the log of both sides. So we'll now take log of 6 to the power of x equals log, this is my log, log of 6 times 5. Now what do I do? The x goes behind, so we have x log 6 equals from here, we have our log 6 times 5, 2. Okay, sorry I wrote out of sight. The x went behind and this came down. Now, we are going to, this is multiplication. So this will be split as log 6 plus log um, 5. This is because we are to multiply. If it is, um, if it is um, um, the other one, if it is division, here would have been negative, right? So here now we still have our x log 6. But then what happens? How do we remove this log 6 from here? So we're going to divide both sides by log 6. Right? Then the whole of this log 6 plus log 5 will be divided by log 6. And then this log 6 is for both numerators so this will take this away and then we have x we're going to have log 6 over log 6 plus log 5 over log 5 over log 6 right because log 6 is for both numerators now our x from here is this will give 1 plus log 5 to the base of 6. What I've done is to change the base. This 6 here becomes the base to the 5. So this is the value of x. And like we do, we always verify okay, our verification stage. Verification stage. Okay, so the equation is 6 to the power of x plus 6 to the power of x equals 60. And now our x is this. Let's put this value of x into this equation and see what we're going to have. Okay, so let's put um, the value of x into this. This will now be 6 to the power of 1 plus log 5 to be 6 plus the same thing, 6 to the power of 1 plus log 5 to base 6. Now, this is 6 to the power of 1 multiplied by 6 to the power of log 5 to base 6. Right? Because if you pick one of the bases, this is multiplication, if you do not know. If you pick one of the bases, then you're going to add the powers. Plus, we'll do the same thing here. We have 6 to the power of 1 multiply by 6 to the power of log 5 to the base of 6. 6 to the power of 1 is 6. 
multiply by mind you that if you have a to the power of log b to base a the whole of this is equal to b same base same base right a a so they will cancel each other then the same thing will happen here so the whole of this now is going to give us five plus six to the power of one is six then multiply by the whole of this again will give five six times five is thirty plus six times five thirty and thirty plus thirty will give sixty okay and if you can recall the equation given is six to the power of x plus six to the power of x equals sixty and this is to confirm that x to be one plus log five to be six satisfies the given equation thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed subscribe so you can get more of my videos